Mr. Prasad, you know, I mean, traditionally the Indian uh, consumers, you know, I mean, I would say the Indian example, you know, unless they meet the doctor in person or unless they go and visit in person, they won't consider it as something that has really happened. What is the shift that is undertaken and how acceptable and mainstream has that shift become? Thanks, Roy. First of all, thank you for inviting me. Um, you know, a very interesting question. So you are absolutely correct that in, in some ways Indian patients don't feel that the encounter is really complete till they see a doctor. But what we've seen is the push is happening on from the other side. The physicians, the specialists, they are embracing this model more and more. Uh, and the pandemic has obviously given this a huge fill-in. So when the specialists are telling the patients that, listen, this is uh, an equally good way for me to advise you on, on your health, etc. Then I think the patients start accepting this and we have seen this trend um, you know, overwhelmingly uh, happening over the last couple of years, uh, especially because of the pandemic, like I said, and it's happening across various sectors. So it's not just happening in the large cities. It's happening with patients who are in small cities, who are connected with, with doctors in large cities. It's happening in the government space also. And I think one of the things that really that's really helping is technology not just the technology to be able to talk to a doctor, but to be able to share reliable data with a doctor. So one of the things that was not happening in the past, which is happening now, is you know can a patient share medical grade data with a doctor sitting in a remote location? So like something that our company does is, is provide cardiac data to uh, physicians who might be sitting in a large city. So once a cardiologist figures out that yes, this data is good enough for me to advise my patient, then that you know positive loop really starts. And I believe we are in the middle of that virtuous cycle that as more and more companies bring out better technologies to give those technologies and tools to the doctors, I think the doctors are the, are the real, um, I would say the, the, the catalyst who will make this happen. And I think we are all seeing that happen now.